Violent crime dropped significantly in Providence in 2022, with the number of homicides in the single digits for the first time in decades. With 2022 in the rearview mirror, the Target 12 investigators are digging into the crime data from the past year. Steph Machado is here now with what the city's police chief had to say about the factors behind the drop. After a big pandemic spike in gun crimes in Providence, the number of people shot dropped by nearly half in 2022. Nine people were killed in the capital city in 2022, according to the final data from the police department. The youngest, 15-year-old Gervonta Tilson, a basketball player, gunned down on Wallace Street in July. Of course, even one homicide is too many, but the number was a far cry from the 23 people killed in Providence the year before. So that is the lowest number of homicides in 50 years in the city of Providence, and that's astounding. Shootings, deadly or not, had been on the decline in the decade before the pandemic, dropping from more than 100 10 years ago to 35 people shot in the capital city in 2019. But the violence spiked during the pandemic, up to 81 people shot in 2021. That number dropped to 44 people shot total in 2022. Targeting those in the community prone to not only carry a firearm illegally, but pull the trigger. Outgoing police chief Hugh Clement says the department took 268 guns off the street in 2022, a record high. Last year we broke a record and this year we shattered that record. Another factor, Clement says the department recalibrated in late 2021, ending COVID era policies, limiting officers face to face interactions with the community. There would be less human interaction due to the pandemic. There were less car stops. There was, we, we didn't want to engage. Uh, for particular reasons, health reasons. Not every type of crime dropped last year. As Target 12 reported back in November, thefts of catalytic converters from underneath cars skyrocketed. The final number for 2022 was 633. Chief Clements is leaving the department for a new job, but it has not yet been announced. He plans to stay on until a new chief is named by Mayor Brett Smiley in the coming weeks. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.